All right, YouTubers. Well, anybody else tired of their freaking sandblaster clogging up? Sandblaster? Sandblasting cabinet? Uh, air compressor got too much moisture plugging everything up? That's what we're hoping the problem is. I'm sick of it. Uh, so, went to Home Depot today. Try to eliminate the problem. Uh, this is my version of what I think is going to stop the water. Hopefully. The moisture. The air compressor is going to blow in through there. That's a threaded uh, T on one side for pipe thread. Uh, probably just put a quick connection on there so I could hook it, unhook it, but I don't know if I might pipe it directly in yet or not. I'm just thinking about that. But it is a threaded T, so either way. Uh, and then the, that's the top up there, so it's going to come in here. And the first air will hit that in, and hopefully the water will fall down here and sit in this long three-quarter inch tube. Then it'll come up there, hit that top 90, come across there, hit that 90, come back down, and hopefully, again, the water will fall in that long tube. Uh, the air will go through here, hit that 90. Again, the water has an opportunity to fall if there's any water left by this point, which I hope there's not. And then it'll go back up there to the top, and then come across again, and then come back down. And right here, I've got a little uh, water separator I'll show you. Uh, that I'm going to put right here to hook the blasting cabinet to. Down here, I'm going to put a quick connect. That's a threaded 90. Put a quick connect there, and I'll mount all this to the wall on the shop on the outside. Two things I'm hoping. One, it'll give the air a chance to cool. Two, it'll collect the moisture. And then I'll put this little dude right here directly attached to here. It's also a threaded T. And I'll put it directly attached to here, which gives me a regulator to control pressure. And then the output, I have high flow. Uh, actually, I think that's the input, but I'll figure that out in a minute. But I have high flow. Uh, yes, that is the input. Well, that puts a damper on things. I have to put it up here. But uh, I have high flow. Uh, I've got 90s and stuff. So, but I have high flow uh, air fittings in there. Uh, you know, I've been listening to all these guys on YouTube talk about this fixes the blasting cabinet. This fixes the Harbor Freight blasting cabinet. You know... I've tried every modification. I put freaking the screen in there. I I put uh, that air dryer on it. I put uh, I'm using glass, uh, crushed glass. I've tried every nozzle with the Harbor Freight air gun. I put the the direct bottom feed in there instead of the siphon. Uh, I've done everything I know to do, including the high flow air fittings. I've got a compressor. Somebody said, "Oh, your compressor's too small." Look at the size of that compressor. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty dark out there. But that's a 240 volt, five horsepower, 80 gallon. It's not too small. That's not the problem. So I don't know what to do with these uh, this cheap ass Harbor Freight blasting cabinet. I'm not saying don't buy one if it's all you can afford, but I'm telling you this. I bought that Harbor Freight cabinet for $200. I put $350 so far in modifications, not counting $100 of junk I just bought here. And still, the cabinet does not work. Still does not work. So. Whatever y'all think you're going to do with it, you know, I guess some people have better luck than me. I've seen a lot of these guys post all these modifications to these cabinets. I have never seen nobody turn one on to show me it works afterwards. I'd like to see that because I cannot get mine to work. Anyway, I'm on, on an upset path here. Start thinking about all the money I spent on this junk. I should have just went and bought a high dollar cabinet. But uh, hopefully this will fix the problem and I won't be so upset anymore. We'll see. Anyway. That's the deal. My version of an air dryer. 